What's up today guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, bringing you guys that new smash attack that everybody has been using the last couple weeks um, that we covered on the channel about a month ago, but that's okay. Little Yeti Super Archer smash attack. Um, it's absolutely insane. Uh, the, the only difference in my style is I like to use the earthquakes compared to the jump spells, but we'll go over that once we get into the attack. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright, so here's that army composition that I prefer. Uh, the standard is 9 Yetis, 9-ish Yetis, 8-ish Super Archers. Um, you're going to have one Super Wall Breaker. Uh, I like to bring an Ice Golem, a couple Headhunters, a Wizard for funneling, uh, a Minion, and a uh, regular Archer, just if you need to pull the CC down. But your Smash Attacks, you really don't need to. So really, the Minion and the Archer are for cleanup at the end of the attack. And then I got one Rage, three Freezes, four Earthquakes instead of the Jump Spells, only two Skeleton Spells, and then I have a Rage and a Poison uh, in the CC with a log launcher with uh, a yeti bomb coming out of that. Two yetis, two wizards, and an archer. And then, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the entire composition. Um, you basically open it up with the rage. Use the skeleton spells to protect your main troops. Get a little miniature funnel going. And just get that smash attack going through with the yetis and the super archers. The super archers are just absolutely insane. Um, they could reach so many buildings over the, over the walls and they get multiple hits kind of like the super bowlers but uh the arrows just pierce and they go through multiple buildings at a time so if you get compact bases they can destroy a lot of defenses all at once which is absolutely insane uh, i will also link the previous video in the description below if you guys want to watch more attacks on this i'm only going to show you guys one replay today going to be a very quick video but we'll break down the attack uh that way you guys at least get to see it and possibly learn from it. Alright guys, so here is this first base. Um, so what we are looking for is to just set up a funnel. Um, use the wall breaker to give us access. Open up the back side of the attack with the earthquakes. And then use the log launcher to get access to the rest of the base. That is pretty much the gist of the attack. You want to set up at least a little bit of a funnel to get all of these yetis and super archers to go into the core of the base. Uh, that is the goal. If you have a super archer or two, walk the outside. It's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, I go ahead and actually activate the town hall with these earthquakes. Get a little bit of damage down. Um, the builders are actually going to heal themselves first. And then they're going to heal the town hall uh, inevitably. Unless they go to the archer towers first, which they do and the scatter shots. So town hall is going to keep a little bit of damage. But I got the king down. Just a funnel. He's going to ju jump down and join the main army. And then I use another Yeti on the other side to funnel. And as you can see, we push the majority of this main army up. I'm going to use an early Royal Champion ability, or Royal Champion just to funnel out this little box. And try to get a lot of my Super Archers to go up with the main army with the Yetis. And you can see we got about... I think we're missing two of them. The rest of them are in the core with the Yetis. And they are doing some crazy damage to a lot of these defenses because of how far they shoot these arrows and we're gonna freeze the town hall right there use a rage down with the queen the rc actually comes up with the super arches and we take down that uh town hall very very easily ended up losing my rc right after that but we still have a couple yetis alive still got a good amount of super archers alive still um we got two on the outside working uh one in the core two more up at the northern side and we still got yetis going Still got the queen with her ability. Still got the warden working. The mighty yak over here with the minion and archer that were clean up. And this base is just absolutely crushed. I mean, it's pretty simple. Just like most smash attacks. You set the funnel. Very little funnel. Just to get all of your troops to go into the core. And you can see just how powerful this army really can be. Um... I have used it in Legends League the last two days. Um, I got a lot of high percentage two stars. It, it can triple, but it's very difficult in the 5500 trophy range uh, to get triples on some of these bases because they're just better built bases. But 
the attack for war on certain bases, yes, you can absolutely destroy them just like I did this one. But I wouldn't say the attack is at the level of P.E.K.K.A. Smash or Super Bowler Smash uh, by any means. But the attack is very fun to use. You can use it in lower Legends League, you know, brand new Legends 5100, 5200, and be very successful with it. You could also use it in war on specific bases and easily get three stars. Or you can just use it in friendly challenges. It's just a very fun attack to use in general. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. This is just a very fun and entertaining attack to use in lower Legends League and in War. But I have seen some people using it in higher Legends League. So maybe with a little bit more practice, um... You could be more successful with it. But these people are also using the two jump spells. Maybe I'll give the two jump spells a try over the uh, four earthquakes. But I just prefer the earthquakes and m another rage. I think I have a second rage over the the two jump spells. But maybe I'll take out a, you know the, jump, the extra rage and possibly use one jump spell in earthquakes. I don't know. I'll mess around with it a little bit. I'm having fun with the army. Got a quick shout out for Steve Taylor for becoming a member on the channel today. I appreciate the extra support. If you guys want to become a member, it will be in the link on the description below and also in the about section on my YouTube channel if you are on a mobile device. But if you're on a PC, all you have to do is just hit join right next to the subscribe button. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll catch you next time.